Hey guys, welcome back to another Team Builder. It is Team Builder Monday, and we are doing a team around two of uh, the Pokemon I haven't used at all in OU. Um, I think at all yet this generation. I really don't think I've used them in like a long time, but we are using Latias Mega, and we're using Gliscor. Now this is a fun core that uh, can be somewhat offensive, but Overall, in general, uh, Calm Mind Latias is a very good check to a lot of things in OU, Zardex, uh, not Zardex, Zardwai, um, Keldeo, Starmie, things like that. Um, just a lot of Thunderous, Thunderous it checks, uh, Tornadus it checks to a degree, but um, oh my god. I'm gonna run, you can really change up the moves on this thing though. Because what I'm running is, I'm running 248 HP, 252 def uh, speed, and 8 defense with a timid nature. That'll give you the max speed that regular Latias has, and it'll still keep a lot of your bulk. So that you can come in on Sardwai, Thunderous, Tornadus, etc. And um, you don't really have to worry too much about things because you do have Roost. And... Uh, yeah, Pursuit sometimes won't even kill you from certain Pokemon. I think from Weavile it still does. I'm not too sure. I'll have to check. But, um, yeah. This thing. So, obviously it has a, a few common weaknesses with Gliscor, that being Ice. So, we're going to cover those later in our tracks. But, for now, this is what we have. This is the this is the Mega Latias I've been personally running with Dragon Pulse and Psyshock. Um, you can also run it with Ice Beam and Thunderbolt if you want to. I just found it more helpful to have the two stab moves. And especially so I can hit Chansey, Blissey, and whatnot. Now the other thing you want to use here is um, Gliscor. Just to be sort of a, top, a status absorber. And also to sweep alongside um, Latias. Now the thing that I wanted to run on this instead of having the usual knockoff is actually Rock Slide, and the reason for Rock Slide is so that I can hit Incoming Tornadus, I can still hit Landorus T for good damage, I can hit all those things very well still. Um, now this may seem like a weird EV spread, it may seem like a weird EV spread, but it has actually something recommended a lot. Um, hold on, let me check its EVs again. Alright, so it's 244 HP, right, am I right, uh, yep, there we go, and 8 defense, crap, I totally forgot what nature, hold on, okay, with a careful nature, now, the reason for this is that, so that we could take some neutral special hits to us, um, you know, such as like things from Gengar, and uh, other things, Maybe an HP Ice or two from Raikou. Actually, yeah, you can take an HP Ice from Raikou. That's something I did figure out, is that you can take an HP Ice from Raikou, and I think Mega Manetric sometimes, it depends. But, yeah, that's when you're at full. Don't be too confident in that. Make sure you do your calcs when you're battling, because if you take the wrong HP Ice and you go down, you're done for. You can't take Ice Beams. You definitely can't take Ice Beams, but certain HP Ices you can take, and, uh, you know, knock things out because of this special defense stat. So that'll also save you from uh, the problems of I don't I don't really know too much, but you know, you still it's it's good bulk altogether. 288 defense, 259 special defense with 352 HP. Bueno, that's all you need. Uh, 240 speed, you know, just enough to speed tie with certain like defensive variants of um, Landorus T or Garchomp or something like that. You know, just to speed tie with those, or, you know, be a little bit faster than you need to be. Again, this isn't a speedy Gliscor, it's a more kind of defensive thing. So yeah. Now, the Pokemon that'll go great with these two to help check some things that they can't really take care of too well. Um, usually the likes of, like, Chansey, or, um, let's see, like, Steel types. So certain steel types they'll have a problem with, especially ones that carry like air balloon. That's another thing. Gliscor helps check um, Heatran. That's why it has all that special defense for Mega Latias. 
Now another thing that I did want to throw on here that is just very spammable and it also helps stop your ice weakness and this is why I'll show you in a minute is because um Weavile absolutely absolutely tears this core apart even Bisharp gives it huge problems things like that so the thing that we want to use to check that damn ants is Keldeo now we're, the reason we're using Keldeo is because obviously it resists dark and ice so it's very good in that sense but we're not running the usual we're not running the usual sleep talk uh the usual life orb Keldeo we're running a rest sleep talk variant and this is because so that we can keep our Keldeo around longer while also still catching the opponent off guard to basically give ourselves the win late game if we need to because once Weavile knocks off your life orb you can just rest and sleep talk and blah 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 all the way so this is the EV spread we're using uh, 24 HP just to live a few you know hits better from Weavile I think uh, so knockoff doesn't have a chance to 2 a KO or something like that and we're just gonna run a timid nature so that's our Keldeo you know so so far we're looking good we're looking good now the thing that I'm missing right now is hazards hazards would be so helpful right now I don't really need hazard removal too much because a lot of things so far have recovery actually everything so far has recovery Keldeo has rest Bliscor has roost Latias has roost so not too keen on running the um, hazard removal, especially because even if people set up spikes, I, uh, my core is already levitating, so they're not getting hit by toxic spikes or spikes. So another another thing I want to throw on here, especially to check things like Manaphy, which give me a huge problem still right now, you can see, is Ferrothorn. And I'm just going to be running the typical Ferrothorn set. I'm not going to run anything too fancy. There's no reason to on this team. I just need Protect... Um, spikes, we're gonna be running spikes because I'll have another stealth rocker later that I'll show you guys. Leech Seed and Power Whip. Now, I've seen a lot of Magna Zones lately being run on the ladder and I don't know why. Um, Magna Zone really isn't that great unless it's choice specs, but even sometimes still, it doesn't Oko Ferrothorn with a Hidden Power Fire, which is very pl problematic for it. So, yeah. Um, most of the time you're gonna see Magna Zone, it's usually gonna be Scarfed. Just saying, just because, um, typically they are Scarfed. What did I do? Or they're gonna be Air Balloon or something like that, something crazy. But there's no reason to really run that, because Magna Zone isn't, isn't that great in OU in general. The only reason to use Magna Zone would be to stop Ferrothorn or Skarmory or, you know, Scizor. That's really it. That's all you usually need Magna Zone for. It doesn't do too much other than that. Um, again, Magna Zone would be checked horribly by Latias and Gliscor, so I'm not really too worried about that. If I do see a Magna Zone, I'm going to have to pull some doubles, probably make a few predictions, make a few plays, and then we're good. So let me just check the Smogging Analysis to make sure I have the right um, Ferrothorn set, because if I don't have the right Ferrothorn set, uh, that would really suck. Can this thing load already? We'll wait for that to load for a bit. So let's just move on to our next Pokemon. Now, the, now the thing that I wanted to run first, which what was originally, I can't speak today, was originally a um, Life Orb Land, a uh, Thunderous, not Landorus, Thunderous. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. So let me show you what I was going to run originally. And then I'm going to show you what I end up ended up using on the final team, just because uh, when you're team building, you get through that process in your head where you're like, maybe this set doesn't work, but I can try this set instead. Um, I'm also still debating keeping Thunderous on the team in general, just because Zapdos might have a better fit overall. I never know. Um, I'll have to try that out. But... I ended up using Thunder Wave and three attacks. Now, what I was using originally that you can use on this team if you really want to bait out Latios and Latias and things like that sort is not a Nasty Plot set, a Mixed Attacker set. Now, the reason for this is to basically kind of deter people from defogging, or if the Lotties want to defog, you can bring this in on them. They'll think they can take any hit, and then they get knocked out by a knockoff. 
and yeah you can read all of it on Smogin. Smogin is such a great tool to use for team building in their own metagames if you play them you know you want to play VGC something else that's fine but you can totally use this set it it will work on this team it's just um, I found it more reliable to run the Thunder Wave set now I wanted to run a mixture of both still but I I figured if I'm gonna go Thunder Wave I might as well go full Thunder Wave and that's because um basically the reason for that is because of Zardex and Zardex will absolutely tear this team apart if you don't have Thunderous to check it and you don't have the next Pokemon I have to check it because if you don't have either of those you're really gonna lose now you can see we don't have anything really for stall I mean we do have Latias and Keldia which will break down stall pretty well but I want to break it down 100% I want to be able to say screw you Mega Sableye and uh, for that reason I'm throwing Heatran on the team now Heatran just fits overall very well on the team um, as you do see, we have a lot of flying types, a lot of things that can take fighting type moves. We can take fire type moves for Ferrothorn. We can take, you know, rock type, not rock type moves, um, other certain type moves for other certain type Pokemon. Flying moves, etc. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be running a more kind of weird Heatran set that's not really going to be on the site. And you guys can use this as well. You can use Lava Plume or Magma Storm. So if you want to use Magma Storm, I would definitely recommend using Magma Storm. So I'm just gonna put I'm gonna put slash Magma Storm here, just because um, Magma Storm is definitely an option, and it's something that you can use, but I don't personally want to use because if I use it, I feel like I miss a lot, and there's really no reason for me to be missing every single time that I'm running Magma Storm because the whole reason of running it is running a move is to hit it. So, <laughs> I don't know, that just bothers me when I run Magma Storm and I miss it all the time. And then people are like, well, you should have ran Magma Storm. I'm like, I, I don't like missing moves. I'm sorry. I'm sorry so much. But this is the set we're running for this one. Now, this may look like an odd set, but it still gives you enough um, bulk and speed to outspeed certain things. Like Mega Heracross is a huge problem for this team. Mega Heracross will absolutely decimate this team. And I know what you're saying, but but Gassy, don't you have Gliscor? Don't you have Keldeo? You know, Thunderous, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but uh, they all don't want to switch in on it. And um, the thing you're going to have to do is when Heracross comes in originally on this, and it's going to outspeed originally, you switch into Gliscor. That's what you do. You switch into Gliscor. And then... <laughs> Once you switch into Gliscor and they're Mega Evolved, you're going to have to double back into Heatran and hit them with a Lava Plume or a Magma Storm, and that should possibly take them out. Now, that's that's the only hard part, really, about this team, is that you're going to have to predict a lot with this team, but it all pays off with the core that I use and everything. It's a very good team. It got me to 1,700, about, I, I would say, 1,681, 1,690 or so. Uh, almost 1700 so it's a very good team um, I think I had the most success when I was running the lore thunderous set which you can also run if you want I will throw that in the pace bin for you guys to decide on your own if you want to use that um, it's a very good set it's just that I don't personally like running it because I feel Zard X give me gives me such a problem um, that I feel it's more reliable to run the Thunder Wave set just so that you can paralyze things of that sort and whatnot and, you know, basically just say good day, you know, wipe it off, wipe your hands clean, goodbye Zardex, you're paralyzed, have a good day, see you later. Now you can also use Zapdos, I haven't tried Zapdos on this team yet, but if you find a good set to work with Zapdos on this team, because this team really does need a defogger and I feel like Zapdos would be the defogger that I would use personally just because it's something that would work on the team it's something that would still keep the synergy of the team and it would keep a little bit more bulk on the team also but i like i like 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 thunderous just because it still has that immediate power to it and that immediate um that that immediate you know the prankster t-wave is just so valuable it's so valuable you really don't want to miss out on that um, also, the higher speed stat and the higher special attack stat, you know, everything, I feel like offense with the Thunderous is a little bit more important than Zapdos running around defogging, and um, I'll probably stick to that with my guns, but um, 
I might try Zapdos. I might try Zapdos just to try it. Um, everything else isn't really interchangeable. Um, I would definitely keep Rock Slide on the Gliscor. Also, Zapdos would help out a lot more with Tornadus, wouldn't it? Um, I don't know. Usually Heatran and Gliscor will take care of it. Again, you can run any kind of Thunderous set on here, and it'll usually work, but the one that I prefer and recommend you to use is Thunder Wave. The Thunder Wave 3 attack set. That's probably the best one I can recommend you to use. Um, because you're gonna need super power on this, you're gonna need knockoff, you're gonna need Thunderbolt, you're gonna need HP Ice. There's no room to fit Thunder Wave on here. Um, yeah, so. Like I said, the whole team is, with Thunderous is very interchangeable with Thunderous right there. Um, you can also run a special defensive Heatran, although I recommend you run the max speed just because then Mega Heracross gives the team a huge problem. Although Zapdos might remedy that if you're running Zapdos because it's more defensive, it is able to take on Heracross very well. Um, other than that, the team's not too interchangeable. Again, these four are a pretty good, solid thing that you need on the team. Other than that, Thunderous is interchangeable to a Zapdos or a spe special attacking Thunder Wave set. Heatran is interchangeable to a special defensive set or running Lava Plume or Magma Storm. I definitely recommend Lava Plume over Magma Storm. Again, it's your decision. The Heatran is just there so that stall doesn't beat you. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the team. I always spend a lot of time on these. I test them out for you guys. I make sure I can get to a good enough part on the ladder to use them. And um... Ooh, I'm sorry. I make sure I get to a good enough part on the ladder to where I know they're very viable. And I always go to the people in the rate my team room, unless I'm running like a really fun team one week, like the Mega Swampert one. I really didn't spend all that much time on that one, just because I was like, I just need a fun team to use, and I really don't like playing Yu Yu. So, <laughs> yeah, that's about it. I mean, it's it's a very fun team with an unexpected Mega, and I think that's what really makes it unique, and the fact that it's, uh, it's Rock Slide Gliscor, which actually works, so... You know that's a thing um so i hope you guys do enjoy make sure to leave a like down below a like down below make sure to leave a like and a comment down below we just hit 500 subscribers today um i just woke up i we have 500 subscribers so i will do something for that very soon i am going on vacation for the next two days or so so i am bulk recording right now trying to get everything out of the way for you guys and just you know blah so hope you guys enjoyed i will see you in the next video bye